Hey guys, welcome to the shop. This is just a quick video on changing arbors on your drill chuck. This has a Morse taper two to three adapter on it. I want to swap this guy out with my good Morse taper two because I got a Morse taper three adapter for another chuck. We're just shuffling it around, but you see, well, you can't see because the lighting's terrible. There's a little plug, focus, on the back of the chuck. Flathead doesn't need to be super snug. And you can actually bang these out with a punch. Uh, you're gonna have to hit it pretty hard. It's not graceful, but it works. That came out in one blow, surprisingly enough. My other one, I had to beat pretty hard. So where did that shank go? Just off in the corner. So here we are, we have a Kind of crummy, Morse Taper 2, Morse Taper 3. Here is my good Morse Taper 2. I'm going to clean it off just using my shirt. You know, the cleaner the better. You will not regret cleanliness because if it's really dirty, you won't have good run out. And if you saw my shirt right now, you would think it is filthy. So this is actually a U.S. Navy chuck. It's marked. No. Yeah, it is marked. Focus. So a little bit sentimental. Uh, before you bang on the arbor, just withdraw the jaws all the way. And don't do this on your regular vise. This is a post vise, so you can do that and beat on it. This is a solid steel. It's not cast iron. So here we are, new arbor. This is my other chuck that's just getting a Morse Taper 3. So on the lathe, I never use drill bits with a shank over half inch because I will always use a taper shank drill. Uh, don't quote me on that. I know now that I've said that, I'm gonna run into something in the coming weeks where that doesn't work. Um, on the drill press, I'll use reamers that might have a 5 8 inch shank. So that's why we're having my 1 8 to 5 8 inch drill get a Morse Taper 2 and the smaller chuck gets a Morse Taper 3. So you see we got our little hole in there. Slide that in, withdraw, withdraw the chuck jaws all the way so you're banging on the body and, and now we're seated. So that's just one quick way to change your chuck arbors. You know, it's not that hard. Just hit it with your purse. And I'm gonna put this little screw back in because if it comes with the screw in a hole, I tend to put the screw back in the hole just on principle. So thanks for watching guys.